Hi everyone, my name is Sergio and today our starting question that we'll try to answer together is this one. When can we make a release? When is our release ready? When we think on our products, we are uncertain about so many aspects. We look at our products as we look to the skies and the stars. We feel so tiny in the immense universe that our product represents. And yet, we want to answer this single question. When is our release going to be ready? Let's think for a while what releasing means in Waterfall and in Agile projects. In Waterfall, we mainly work with deadlines and fixed scope, which is counterproductive. Here we roughly estimate in days and it always fails. In Agile, we use estimates in story points and we focus on velocity or having a steady pace. We then extrapolate to find a possible date for our, uh, for our release. No matter what methodology we follow, finding an exact date will always or be almost impossible. Why? Well, the problem is that we are dealing with the unknown. There will always be risks that we missed completely and others that we underst underestimated. But perhaps if you or someone else is asking when can we make the release, maybe, maybe you are making the wrong question. Trying to answer a different question can give you more value by finding those exact points that can help your team be more efficient while providing value sooner to customers. So instead of when can we make a release, try to answer why can't we make a release? This is really, for me, is really the important question. If we think for a moment what stops us from making a release is a set of questions such as why have we built it? What have we built? How was it built and deployed? Is it really useful? And if it's not, or if it gives problems, all of this is lack of confidence. So let's see how we can increase confidence in four points as a way to enable releasing sooner or even at any moment. The first thing to improve confidence is by improving information throughout the team. We need to think on testing as a skill and a global concern that is always present and embraces all activities we have related to building a product. I call this as omni-testing. The goal is to improve quality from the start, from all possible angles. How can we do it? By raising questions and having uh, conversations, by implementing tests at different levels and of different types, by having a continuous agile testing process. A common trap here is to leave quality aspects to testers. It's time to overcome that. The second action point is to enable CICD. There are two goals here. The first goal is to shorten feedback loops, which we can achieve through test automation. There's also a common trap. Uh, having a separate test automation team can easily become a silo and harden uh, the shortening of feedback loops. The second goal is to remove uncertainty about the, the build process and the delivery process while at the same time gaining efficiency. The third action point is to have a risk mindset within the team. The goal is to uncover unknowns and important risks right from the start. And this can be done by early discussing and assessing risks together within the team to know the ones that matter and how to handle them. There's also a common trap, uh, which is 
doing risk analysis just at the project start and think that these risks are static. However, risks are dynamic. Your code changes, your team changes. There are many things changes around your product. Therefore, this needs to be an ongoing discussion, like having a risk mindset always there. The fourth action point is to provide the capability to roll back. And this is important as a way to reduce impacts if problems arise. This can be achieved through monitoring, observability, and of course, operability. A common trap is to think we don't we don't need to roll back or that rollback is just too hard to be implemented. If we provide this capability, we can uh, release with more confidence because the risk will be lower. If you want to know more uh, about uh, testability and operability, I would recommend looking at some talks from uh, Rob Mini. So coming back to our original question, when can we make a release? And the answer is anytime, as long as we have enough confidence. Confidence make us move forward. We may fail, but we can quickly learn from it. And try once again, releasing with confidence can be achieved through better team collaboration. Automation of some processes, of course, use us some tools to help along the way and focus human resource resources on where they can provide more value, such as doing exploratory testing. So love who you are, love what you do, and make others love your product too, as soon as you can, with confidence. Thank you. You can find me on Twitter using the Dark Telecom handle or on my website, sergiofreire.com. Happy testing.